For almost two decades, Tessa Hadlock has been helping people with facial deformities. I had really no control on the right side of my face, and I did get about 30 to 40 percent of movement um, in the upper lip, because one of the functional things I wanted to improve was I wanted to be able to smile again, um, and that was drastically improved. But the doctor is never satisfied. Technology being developed at Mass Ioneer's new Photonic Surgical and Engineering Laboratory will revolutionize what she and her colleagues can do for patients. What we hope to do is use electrode arrays to read the complicated facial movements on one side of the face and copy them and transmit those signals to the other side. I guess in the wish list is, you know, if I can control the lower lip, which I don't have control over now, and then if I was able to close my eye on my own. Like when I blink now, I can only blink on the right when I close my left eye. The face is the gateway to um, not only verbal expression, but nonverbal communication, speech and articulation. It's, it's how we relate to each other uh, as humans. The funding for a new laboratory is the result of a generous campaign gift from Doug and Diana Berthume. The last time I saw Brian, it was like he had taken a wonder drug. Uh, the treatment that he underwent at Mass Eye and Ear had been an amazing improvement. Now, that's with old technology. It's the first laboratory here whose mission is entirely focused upon helping people with major facial disfigurement. The patients of Dr. Un Tian Tan, a pioneer in laser surgery, will also benefit greatly from new tools being developed at the lab. One of Dr. Tan's specialties is dealing with port wine stain birthmarks. If not treated, they can grow, thicken, or form lumps. Our intent is basically to try and reduce the size of the birthmark over the lifetime of the child or individual, and also to um, hopefully, eventually, clear as much of the abnormality and abnormal vessels as we can using the laser. Nicholas Markin has been a patient of Dr. Tan since he was a baby. I think it's very cool, I guess for me personally, to say that I know Dr. Tan and that I've been a, she's been a part of me my whole life. Now the prospect for an ultra-fast new laser called Pearl, with a time scale of a millionth of a millionth of a second, will help Dr. Tan make Nick's life-changing results even better. Ultimately, hopefully, we want to clear all of the birthmarks in the best, most efficient way with as least damage as possible. Being alive and having all the innovations occur during my lifetime, I guess it makes me think positively towards how it's only gonna get better from there. In appreciation, Nick has become a benefactor himself, raising over $22,000 for Mass Ioneer by hosting a golf tournament to support the research. Our real hope is a lot of people, particularly children, will benefit through cutting edge technology that dramatically improves their life. I am so overwhelmed with excitement. This donation has been such an impetus to stimulating new blood, new optimism, and really hope that we will develop and reach our goal of being able to make these kids even better than they are now.